There's a lot of shootings. There sounds residents in this Oak Cliff neighborhood say they're used to. The gunshots, you hear that all the time, but this time was different. This time, the shots hit Officer Darren Burks and two fellow officers. I mean, it sounded like I was standing right next to a bunch of people shooting. Kimbera Jones Morgan not only heard the gunfire, she knew Officer Burks. He's a very, very good, very good guy. Um, he'll give you the shirt off his back. And it's my understanding he's in a marked car, so why would you do something like that? A shock many just can't grasp. I was flabbergasted. I didn't know what to think. Especially with the shooting happening in the parking lot of Fort Oak Cliff, an organization helping to build this community through education and social support. This is kind of like a, a hub for opportunity. Well, that's what Fort Oak Cliff is about. It's about dreams. It's about hope. Councilwoman Carolyn King Arnold at the site of the shooting. It's just painful. It's insulting. You get angry. But we know that that's a very serious topic on our streets now is that you have folks who have access and who want to take the power and take control. And sometimes they show a disrespect for our officers. Disrespect that Joseph Coleman, who's lived here over 40 years, says has gone too far. I have called in on numerous occasions to 911. I, at times, fear for my safety. Safety. Officer Burks provided. Definitely you're not lifting his family and friends up in prayer. And hope for change that he too shared. In South Oak Cliff, I'm Brittany Moncrease.